first is to create HNZ view file, this is the front end of the software, we will put GUI and graphics here. Second is to create HNZ controller file. This file is the back end of the software, it contains the actual neural network that will do all the calculations. After that let's create main python file, which is the application start point. Create utility file, this will contain useful functions that can be shared by all classes of the program. Let's move to HNZ view file, and start to import required packages. The vutility file. A bunch of TK inter and TTK packages are required. And then is to create view class, this will hold all the GUI elements as well as the canvas for displaying the neural network. First function is init the initialization method. Container variable is the enter point that will be passed to view class by main.python. The setup method will contain create widgets and setup layout methods. We use these to separate the creating of GUI elements and arranging of them. Inside the create widget method, first is the setup frames. Before we get into codes, let's have a look how we are going to organize these widgets. We divide the space into three frames left frame for training parameters as well as buttons. There are mainly three sections with bunch of combo boxes, buttons, and labels. Top section is for creating a network, middle to set up training parameters as well as for loading training data. Under that is the save load section, so this application is capable of saving and loading already trained neural network. The bottom section is for prediction so you can use a neural network to predict some result. Middle frame space is for displaying neural network. Right frame contains another two frames, right frame 1 the top frame is to show the lost function value. Lost function can be viewed as error rates, where the smaller the better. The right frame 2, the bottom frame is to show prediction results. The status bar displays important progress information and is part of middle frame. Labels, combo boxes, and buttons belong to their corresponding frames. First is to create left frame and then is the middle frame. Notice we have variables in vutility file to define some parameters, such as window height and canvas height. We use canvas width and canvas height to define middle frame is because the middle frame will hot the canvas widget, which is to display the neural network in graphics. Now let's switch to vutility.py. First is to define canvas width, canvas height, and then window height the purpose of putting these parameters in a separate file, so it will be easier to change them in a central location instead of searching the files to find them. Switch back to HNZ view file. Now to create right frame, the first parameter is the parent widget, which is container, the second parameter is to define width, and third one is to define the height of this frame. Now we create two sub-frames inside right frame, they are for displaying error function and prediction result. After that is to create a status bar. It is a label widget in essence, the first parameter is the parent widget mid-frame, second is to define current text to be displayed, third one db is to define border width. Relief is to define border decoration. Anchor is to define the look so the label will take the whole width. The last one FG is to define foreground color, which is red here. 
So now let's create widgets inside left frame. First one is the label for input layer, and below it is a combo box. The first parameter for combo input box is its parent widget left frame, after that there is a list to define its values. Here the values represent the number of nodes inside this layer. Now, to do the same to create the remaining labels and combo input boxes for three hidden layer and the output layer. If we look at the GUI, these are at the top of left frame. Now to create create network button, we call it B2 circle. We give all these widgets numbers so we can easily recognize them among the codes. The first parameter of this button widget is parent widget left frame, text defines what is to be displayed on the button, command is to define a method to be executed when button get clicked. The remaining width and height is to define the size. We have completed the setup section, next is the put together the user interface for training section. First is to create label as divider. Learning rate is a combo input box, it defines how fast a neural network updates weights and bias in a cycle or epoch. Similarly we now define epoch, which is how many cycles to train a neural network. Now to defend fresh rate, is the rate to define how often for graphics in middle to update during the training process, so 200 means the graphical presentation of the neural network will update every 200 epochs. After that are the three buttons to load feature data, load training label and to start the training process. There are corresponding methods need to be created for these buttons. Let's move on to save and load section. One label to divide the section, and two buttons for save and load a trained neural network. The final section inside left frame is the prediction section. After label as divider we have load prediction feature button and start prediction button. The rounding combo input box is to define the rounding for prediction results, you can round to integer, or several decimal points. The hyperlink is for end user to link to this YouTube channel, should they want to know about this software. First line defines the look and feel. And second line binds the action, first parameter button 1 is mouse left button, so when it clicks it will run the call back method and pass the URL as parameter. Lambda E, is an anonymous function, it is required for pointing to the right function, or just the codes after this for execution. The middle frame contains canvas for neural network displaying, the parameters are parent widgets, background color, width, and height. Let's move to right frame. On top of it is the loss function value label as a divider. The text box is under right frame 1 to showing loss function values. Also we need a vertical scroll bar as the values will exceed the height of the text box. Create a vertical scroll bar, it needs to be under right frame 1, the parent for the text box, but not to under text box. After that, we use config from text box to link the scroll bar to text box's y scroll command, so they will work together. Samely the scroll bar need to link back to text box, so any changes will be reflected to the text box widget. Not we do the same codes for prediction result text box, both the text box and scroll bar need to be under right frame too. Also they need to be linked to each other. After we created all widgets, next is to assemble them together user pack command. The assembling of widgets happens in new method we define as setup layout. Although you do not necessarily separate the creation and setting up in two methods, 
I found this is more organized, and easy to be understood. First is to create the setup layout method, and pack our first widget the left frame. To make things easier, let's slip windows into top and bottom. So we can easily work out what do we need to pack. The first part is to pack frames, we have a position parameter called side. In this instance, the left frame is on far left, as middle frame is pack after that, it will be aligned to left, next to left frame. Now we pack right frame 1 and right frame 2, this is a mistake, which should be done in other sections, we will discuss this later. For meantime we just leave them here. Next is to pack top left network parameter widgets. There are 10 widgets, corresponding to the widgets we created in the create widget method. After that is to pack training section. Packing save and load section. Packing prediction section. Packing hyperlink. Packing right side labels frames and text boxes. The fill parameter controls the way how rigid fill in the space, both means filling in both x and y directions and y means fill in one direction y only. For scroll bar, to fill in y direction only makes sense. Packing canvas Packing status bar Also we use this method to set up default values for widgets such as for combo input box 1, which is to define input layer node quantity. The index 1 will give us the second number, which is 2. Similarly we do these default value setting for all 5 layers, 1 input, 3 hidden layer, and 1 output layer. Defining default for training perimeter combo input boxes. Also setting up status bar default message. To text our view independently, we need to create a session of codes to be run only if the file being run as main file or executable Python file. First is to create a tkinter top object called main window. And then define sizes and its title. Here we also need to go back to vutility.py to add window width values. The main one will be passed to view as entry point and becomes container. Container is the parent for all the widgets from frames to labels, text boxes, combo boxes, and so on. After view object being created, we call the setup method, it will call create widgets and settle layout these two methods to complete the works for initialize the GUI. At the end we run main loop so main window can take user actions and react in each loop. Before we test run, there is also setting to be done in PyCharm, to let it know what Python is to be used. You can also run the codes directly in command window by using Python interpreter. So the first run is not successful. The reason is there are some methods we called in button action command have not be defined yet. The fixing is not too difficult, first let's do search for command on top window. All the command words will now be highlighted, now we just need to create corresponding method in the lower window. Both windows are open the same hnzview.py file. First is to create load train feature method. Create load train label method. Create start train method for start train button. Create save neural network method. Create load neural network method. Create load prediction feature method. Create start prediction method for start predict button. 
Create Create Nodes method for Create Network button. Create Load Training feature method. Create Load Training label method. Create Start Train method for Start Train button. Now let's try to run the GUI again. It worked, just one problem the loss function label is in wrong location, it should be on top of the text box. The problem is right frame 1 and right frame 2 were packed too early within the code. And got packed before the label and they got packed twice. After removing the redundant codes the GUI worked perfectly. So now we have completed the creation of GUI, in next video we will look into the fun part, TK Canvas widget. Thank you very much for watching. If you think this video is helpful, please thumb up. Please subscribe to this channel. See you next time.